Hey everyone, I'm the real Evab. This is the A20 100 uh, game analysis of Guardian. This is run number 29, starting with the Tourmaline yet again. And our Act 1 boss is Hermit. Looks like it might be some interesting paths through this act, but let's see what our options are. We got remove a card, 7 max HP. Lose all souls to remove two cards, or the boss swap. Again, I'm going to be taking the boss swap as usual, but... Lose all souls to remove two cards is a pretty... Um, pretty tempting option. Remove two cards is very powerful in general, and uh, I think is even more so on Guardian. But... We're just going to stick with getting rid of the starting relic. Honestly, if I were to swap into Empty Cage, I'd be getting... Uh, two removes at the cost of my starter relic, and I think that's better than losing the money. Uh, sometimes whenever you have to... Like, on other characters, when the decision is much closer, you have to think a little bit more about uh, the cost that you're going to have, and, you know, the possibilities of the boss relics. So, like, you know, Empty Cage is the uh, very obvious comparison to remove two cards. Uh, but yeah, I would rather lose the starting relic... Uh, the 10 extra block on top of the block you already get for entering defensive, uh, then lose my money. Especially if there is an early act shop, and there is, although we may not path through it anyways. Uh, let's just swap. Pyramid. Ooh. I like the pyramid swaps a lot. Get very powerful very quickly, and uh, stay very safe in general. Also, it's great for our tourmaline. We can save that for whenever we want it. That being said, I think I am still going to socket it and twin slam just so I'm able to, uh, just so I, just so on the first couple of turns I don't uh, have that much vulnerability uh, from a dead draw. I do still need to block a decent amount, and Guardian starting deck is only like four block cards out of twelve, eleven after we socket. So let's see, what are our options for pathing here? We have some 3 elite routes, although every single 3 elite route has only one campfire. Except this one, which has zero. Uh, if I want to go a little bit safer, I can get 3 campfires, 2 elites. Which is really good. I can go through here, do a flex path. Um, could go through 4 fights, or 2 fights in a shop, which is, I guess, the 3rd fight. Uh, or I could just go down this way. That's three fights and a shop, which means I don't go into the uh, the hard pool hallways, and then I go right into elite hunting. I actually like that quite a bit. Uh, the only real downside I can see is that there's no late act campfire, so if I get unlucky, then I can't really... Uh, don't really have any safety options. Uh, but I guess if I get unlucky by here, I can go towards the right take this other elite, then grab this campfire and bail out of the rest. It's not the safest thing, but we don't really have that many bailout options anyways. Like, this is the best we can do. We If we wanted bailouts, we'd probably just have to take a safer route in general. But honestly, I don't think we'll have to. Uh, this is, like, the ideal start of an act, uh, as far as cards go. So I feel safe enough taking it. I guess the real question is, do I upgrade Twin Slam? Do I upgrade Curl Up because it's a Pyramid? Or do I recall? I am hitting the shop, so I'm probably not going to recall. There's a very low chance of us getting enough gold by the time we get to the campfire to break the key. So it's just a matter of what we want to upgrade. I think with this level of safety, we don't have to upgrade Twin Slam just yet. I think I'd rather upgrade Curl Up. It's kind of a weird situation similar to Sneko Eye, where I upgraded Curl Up early. Uh, that paid off pretty that paid off pretty well, but I think that this is more important. Uh, with Pyramid, we're able to save our block cards for when we need them most, which means that we don't need to end fights as quickly. Uh, we can stall a bit longer. Uh, the only exception is, of course, Elites, but uh, adding 4 damage to a card is not 100% necessary yet. We can probably find enough damage otherwise. Not to mention, Twin Slam already has thorns in it, which is already uh, plus 8 damage. So I'm going to upgrade the curl up. I 
save the twin stamp for when I can play it twice. Uh, and of course be able to use it. Um, I don't really want to redraw strikes, but there's only six cards in the draw, or discard. So we're still likely to draw defense. Yeah, just like this. Although I was actually kind of hoping for curl up, but that's fine. Okay, so now we can do this. I guess this is still technically more damage than a strike, and we're going to redraw it, so... Oh, that's something I'll have to keep in mind. And Jawworm is defending right now, but we still should be able to get the kill next turn. Guaranteed. Yeah, 11. Alright. Got a potion off that. Not the best potion in the world, but with Pyramid it gets better. Floating Orbs is a solid first pick in general, but with Pyramid it gets a little bit worse. It's a little bit harder to make use of the Orb Slam whenever your hand is constantly full. With that being said, it's better than these other two options, and, you know, once we get more energy, I think our deck will be a little bit more, um, a little bit better to, a little bit more capable of getting rid of our cards. Uh, and also, this is just pretty solid in general. Gotta take something for the first Elite. We have 22 damage in hand, we can't kill this. Maybe if I had struck it last turn, we'd be in a better spot here. I'll have to remember that for the future. Also, just gonna keep the Orb Slam in hand, since we have room, and also because we weren't doing any damage with them last turn, so. Okay, uh, Quartz is interesting, but less good on Pyramid. Uh, Harden, there's almost no way we get 20 block. Uh, Roll Attack, though, is another up is another reason why uh, Curl Up Upgrade is okay early. We can now go into Defensive on our first draw through of our deck. Uh, brace 12 and Brace 8 is Brace 20, and that's exactly how much we need. Also, it's solid damage. I'm gonna just play the roll attack, and then we'll do curl up next turn. Get rid of a defend from our hand. We'll block and get thorns. Didn't draw twin slam. It is important to, note, to notice the ordering here. The stuff in Stasis came out first, then the Orb Slam, then we drew cards. Alright, a little bit better average than uh, better than average damage against Merchant. Multi Beam is great. Uh, AoE whenever we need it, even though it's uh, unupgraded. I think it's still good because we can hold it for exactly the right turn. Uh, Recover is another option though. Recover from more stasis support uh, with Pyramid, uh, making it a block card, even though it's basically just defense worth, is still very, very good. I think Multi Beam is too much uh, utility to pass up, though, and we can find other stasis supports pretty easily. Okay, so we have 115 gold to spend here. Uh, an Orb Walk does not seem like a terrible idea. Especially since we have Curl Up Plus, uh, we can put it into Stasis pretty much every time we want to. Uh, that means it's also Prime for an upgrade. It does mean that we're not buying a card remove in this show, but I think that's worth. I think that's very worth. Uh, and I'm not going to take a Priming Shot. Even though it's on sale. And I guess I just play it in this fight, it's not a big deal. Hmm. 
So if I play two defends now, next turn I can do curl up, uh, roll attack, maybe. No, I always can. Uh, but I still lose one HP either way. I'm gonna... I guess just defend twice, like I said. Okay. Um, I think I skip these. Although, although Walker Claw is a multi-attack, it is an expensive one. Uh, we've already taken three cards that cost more than one. Even I, I count X cost X costs as more than one, because usually their uh, their numbers are nerfed for one cost, so that the to make up for the fact that you can play them for any cost. Uh, we have plenty of other options for multi-hits in the future, even though Orb Walk is going to be really good. I think multi-beam makes up for it in the short term. And in the long term, we'll be better off. So now, we've got a pretty good setup here. Do I want to use Blessing of the Forge? Honestly, no, because Lagavulin's a pretty free fight. So I'd rather just... Do I want to go right into defensive immediately? No. I'm just going to clear strike from my hand. We're going to go in defensive after Laga wakes up. We're going to draw our defense anyway. Okay. So let's get to... Actually, let's just get rid of this. Let's get to our floating orbs. And then we'll play two strikes. Since that's the last turn before Lago wakes up, we now have three strength, and we're in defensive. Uh, I guess I miscalculated a little bit. Maybe I should have done curl up, so I could play defend twice. For some reason, I thought I could do the other thing the way I did. Oh well, five damage is not a lot, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we could have had a perfect fight there, it just didn't work out that way. Uh, Sundial is actually kind of nice with Pyramid. Uh, Refracted Beam is interesting. Another Orb Walk is actually very interesting. I would not mind having a second one, although Sentry Blast is also very good. Definitely not mind having another, another one of these. Uh, if we get both of them upgraded, that's 10 strength in a fight, that's a lot. Usually it's awkward enough to to pass by, but in this case, like, 10 strength is just an absurd amount of strength, and it's very easy to, to make this work the way you want it to, so I think we just take this instead of the other two. Uh, Distilled Chaos, I think better than Dex Potion at the, uh, this point of the game. Akabek was amazing. Makes me wish I had a multi-attack, but hey, that's fine. I mean, multi-beam still works. Akabeko with AoE cards uh, that hit multiple times is a classic. Uh, do I want to just go this way and take the green key now? Honestly, I feel safe enough to. Because we do have, uh, uh, an AoE card for sentries. We have enough damage for Gremlin Knob. We have good potions. I think we just go to the right instead of left. And if we really need to, we can rest later, uh, which may end up being the case. Hang on, let's see what goes on here. Uh, should I play Orb Walk? Probably not, because if I hit Curl Up, I'm not going to be able to play Roll Attack with one. Uh, one energy left. So let's try and save some HP here. That works. Getting a kill counts. 
There's Polybeam. Uh, Ancient Power is also here, but I think Polybeam is way better. Uh, it's another multi-attack for Akabeko, and with 10 strength, this is going to be insane damage for 1 energy. And now from here, I think we want to start thinning, thinning the deck, which is actually why it's kind of important to go to the shop here. Uh, it does look like we're going to have to take some damage here, though. Also, I'm still not using this potion. Uh, and I'm going to wait, I think, maybe one turn to see if I get multi-beam or poly-beam. We're going into defensive here. We're taking 10. We get our full 20 block for our next turn, so we can just wait if we really want to. I think we do want to. So, again, I'm just going to wait this out. Perfect. And it got the triple kill. Amazing. Pen nib. Okay. <laughs> I see where this is going. Laser turret. Wow. Okay. With 10 strength and Akabeko pen nib, laser turret is insane. Okay, so now we definitely have enough damage for the Super Elite. No, uh, no questions asked. This is 24. This is 14. Okay. Uh, resilient plate. More brace is usually nice, but I don't... I think we need, like, actual block cards now. Heading into Act 2. Maybe this still counts. I don't know. But we haven't taken a lot of brace cards. We've taken one and upgraded curl up. So if we go in a brace direction, we're going to have to find cards that just naturally fit into that kind of thing. Yeah, skip there. Down to 35 HP, huh? I think we still upgrade one of our orb walks. Especially with the potions we have. Although, I guess, upgrades with Blessing of the Forge, not the greatest, but hey. Okay, I can tolerate doing this. So I have to play the roll attack here in order to defend. And we're absolutely doing laser turret here. Eight. Nine. Ten. We are definitely going to want an energy relic, but I think we're doing some pretty good things right now. Uh, skip these as well. Accelerate is worth one strength if I'm impatient. <laughs> nah. If I remove, I have 55 left. It's not enough for the shield charger or the shield spikes. 
Would be enough for a potion, but I have my potion slots filled. We're just a bit short for bag of prep, which is sad, but I think overall this is going to be our best option. Maybe there's a world in which Twin Slam goes instead, but I think strikes are still worse for now. Maybe get another remove? No, we get scrap ooze. Uh, <laughs> Man. Honestly, I think this is too risky. There, there may be a world in which I click once, but we just fought sentries, right? So it's either knob or lagable. And if it's knob and like max HP knob, uh, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. And I think we're gonna want all 35 HP. Uh, the first two hits are eight and 24, which is 32. So losing five would put me below the threshold where, where we can survive. Uh, the only way I would be able to is with defensive mode, which I can only do with curl up basically. Like roll attack would not be enough after the first hit. So it'd still be very risky. I'm gonna leave. Kinda sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have upgraded uh, orb walk. Maybe it was greedy. But hey. It's a strength knob. Okay, so that's 10 and 27. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, at least I have this, though. Do I just use Polybeam now with Blessing of the Forge? It's a lot of damage. I think I do. That gives us a pretty good... I got, I got it back. And I replaced the Red Tropic Blue with an Essence of Steel. That's fine. Uh, it's gonna be... 14? Do we play the Orb Walk or the Twin Slam? Because right now this is another 10 damage, right? Oh, I, that's actually really close. Yeah, we don't have time to do orb walk stuff with uh, stasis, so I just kind of have to play this. Yeah, so that's 10 extra damage because 2 strength times 5 hits. Maybe it didn't need to upgrade. What do we have here? 988? 998? Okay, we take 0 this fight, I guess. Oh. Um, If I hadn't upgraded that, that would have been 12 less damage. Okay, so we would have taken a hit here. I guess we saved like 5 HP? That may have still been worth. I don't know. Explosive Potion is interesting. We only have the one AoE card, so maybe it's worth over the Essence of Steel. Let's see what's in our. Uh, and our card reward, uh, Exploit Gems, I think, is the obvious pick here. The other two just don't cut it, but and this is free. Uh, if we get Gremlin Gang, I think we're going to want this Explosive Pot. Will we want the Upgrade Potion? Possibly? We did just get Orc Alchem, though. Yeah, Orc Alchem works very, very well with Essence of Steel. I think, that, I think this uh, solves our boss fight, so I'm just going to toss this and grab Explosive. Uh, if I didn't have that combo, I think Blessing of the Forge would have been the solution to our boss fight. And even then, it's kind of risky. This is four times... Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to remember this for a brace as well. Flex Potion. Do I have, like, a white beast statue or something? I feel like I'm getting a potion every fight. Suspension is amazing here. Uh, it's a great way to get our other orb walk into stasis without having to redraw curl up, so that's great. Uh, over these two, especially. Well, that wasn't an AoE fight we needed, so I guess we just take this instead. Uh, if we go into Act 2, this is especially going to be very useful. Alright, we have... No block. But that's okay. We're just going to do this. And we're going to do multi-beam, I guess. Yeah. Polybeam's too risky. Uh, this allows us 36 HP. All four... Well, I guess not all four. This would be... 10 damage. So three of these hits would still have to hit this in order for it to... Uh, for it to die. So this is fine. Also, it does more than enough damage to proc this, which means we full block. Easy peasy. Okay, we 
do still have to proc this though. So we need 16 damage. We have enough. Can we do orb walk polybeam? Yes, that is 16. Uh, I like. I mean, we're gonna get one more strength from this, right? Whenever we get curl up, but it still takes a while. Is it worth it just to play it now? It might just be more worth it to get rid of our cards in our hand. Yeah. All right, so we take three here. Well, there's a plated armor, so that's fine. I don't think there was any better way to play that turn. All right, we're gonna get laser turret in. I, honestly, I think the rest of the fight, we just let laser turret do its thing for a while with pen nib. Uh, defend, defend, defend is a total of 18. Roll attack, defend is also 18. Uh, never mind about Pendib. We have too many attacks every turn. Uh, also, uh, doing enough damage to Hermit doesn't lessen the damage. It just means that he can't, doesn't gain block. Which honestly kind of sucks. The, the block just does not matter in this fight. The damage matters a lot more. Do I want to wait to go into defensive, maybe? Do I play three defense instead of doing roll attack? I don't think so. I think a turn after this is another off turn, unless I'm mistaken. I think we can wait to do roll attack. Let's clear our hand a bit. Okay, laser trick gets one proc with the uh, pen nib. Not sure how much that was, but it was a lot. Polybeam? Multi-beam. Honestly, that's better. Look at that damage. This is Act 1, by the way. We're already doing 72 damage attacks for 3 energy. Okay. So apparently I could have reached into the scrap ooze a couple of times, but oh well. Uh, Alright, second laser turret. Or speed boost. Ancient Construct is just not an option again. I am not using it to gain thorns. <laughs> Second laser turret is certainly interesting. But we may be focusing more on burst damage in the immediate future. Does speed boost help with that? Kind of. Gains us the strength from orb walks pretty fast, but those are already pretty much going to happen. It might make us more vulnerable than it does actually help us. Maybe we just skip. Although I guess if we're going to skip, maybe I just take the laser turret anyways. Just for later. The greed in me wants me to take the laser turret, but honestly, I think it's just going to be bad for us. I guess speed boost can also work on laser turret, which makes this a times three attack sometimes. So. Hmm. I think we just skip though. It hurts a bit because I actually like laser turret quite a bit there, but oh well. Pandora's box. Oh my. Oof. That might help with hand clog more than uh, more than uh, an energy. We also have work outcome, so our defense are not doing very much right now. It might be choker as well. Like our, our other two options uh, are a little bit sus. 
Choker, especially on Guardian, what with Stasis is usually not the greatest. We also have a Floating Orbs. Um, and the Laser Turret, which comes out occasionally. Also an Exploit Gems and a Suspension. I think we could make it work, but it'd be it'd be difficult. Um, Ectoplasm just hurts on getting our removes. We've already removed one card, so the price has gone up to 100, which means we can only get one more for the rest of the run unless we go to events. Also means we can't kill the merchant for all the key all the key breaks, but, I, but all the key breaks are free anyways. This Pandora's could also just be really weird. He already has something good going, but it's not really overly coherent. More stasis support would be nice from Pandora's, which actually could help our energy problems quite a bit. Leaning more into stasis uh, would help a lot, and also helps with our orb walks. Part of me wants to try the choker just to show I can do it, but you know I don't even know for sure that Pandora's is going to give me stasis stuff. It could give me like double fierce bash and all that. Could give me guardian roll, harden, or push my deck in a completely different direction, which I really don't need because I have ten strength. So you know what? I think this is another point where I make a save file, but I'm going to take the Velvet Choker just to show that's my choice, and then I'll put a link in the description to uh, the save file in case you want to take the Pandora's box. Uh, and in order to make that save file, I have to leave, so I'll be back in just a second. Alright, I am back. I'm ready to take on Act 2. Got Silent as our Act boss. Normally, uh, area of effect cards such as multi beam would be uh, good. Uh, multi beam does have a weakness though that I can't play any cards after it since it's an X cost. At least, uh, at least defensive cards. I have uh, floating orbs and also suspension. So if I actually, it doesn't even matter because the minion tag is still there. It's still broken. But anyway. Looks like I'm going to be going down through this way to get this shop before to the end of the act. And then we have our choice of three elites. And whatever we want to do at the start of the act, really. Uh, which I think is going to be mostly taking question marks, so probably down the left here. Yeah. Just break the emerald immediately. I think that's... Hmm. I don't think I need to do that. Because I have Orc Alchem, right? So, uh, defends are worse than normal. And they're literally my only block cards. So I'd rather keep the gold for a potential shop. If I upgrade something, it might just be Polybeam uh, to make use of... Our potion and Akabeko better. Because we want to end fights fast. Uh, the other orb walk upgrade is more of a long term thing than a short term thing. Good do multi beam, but honestly, I don't think it's that important. We also don't need to upgrade suspension uh, with Pyramid, unless I guess this shows up on turn one enough that I. Change my mind on that. I think it is just probably being for extra hit. So let's stick with that for now. Souls for a heal or gain max HP and lose current HP or leave. 
I don't. I don't understand why this spec, uh, choice is still here. I don't think this is heal eleven for fifty. That's not bad, but not necessary. Okay, it looks like we're going straight into defensive here. In order to block the most. We are still taking seven, though. That's to be expected going into Act Two, really. This is actually less than just this. The power of four energy. Hmm. Nah. I don't think keeping Bendib is worth four HP there. Amethyst. Uh, that's pretty good for Twin Slam if I ever upgrade it. Uh, Piercing Hide. We have to go through here. And then we don't get a thing for the rest of the act. Okay. Uh, never mind then. Not upgrading Twin Slam and putting a gem in it. Although I could probably just take the Amethyst and put it in something else. I have Roll Attack, Exploit Gems, and Suspension. It's got to be good in one of those. Figured out of the campfire. Ritual Dagger, huh? Not with this deck. I'll take Cultist Potion over Groove Sharpness. Why not? Thank you very much. Remove all strikes, receive five bites. Sorry, but no. Alright, so what are we putting this in? Is it roll attack? Roll attack already kind of has a defensive nature to it, but not fully. Uh, I was thinking about maybe putting a ward in there, but with Orc Alchem, it may not be a good idea. Perhaps it is just fine to put a uh, Amethyst in there. I think the zero-cost cards lend themselves more to a temporary buff or draw card or accelerate kind of gem. Uh, so I think this is just going to go in roll attack. And we're going to upgrade, I guess, multi beam this time. Although we could also do suspension just to make sure. I'm, I'm warming up to that upgrade just so I don't get a dead draw. I think that's important for now. Let's not get a dead draw. Multi beam is just there for area of uh, effect damage. Uh, since we took the green key in Act 1, we need to take the blue key now. Uh, because the chest is. Sorry, uh, campfire is not guaranteed after the chest in Act 3. Uh, I've discussed this in previous episodes, but uh, there are there's a very, very small chance that there are no campfires after the Act 3 chest, uh, in which case if we took the key, then we wouldn't be able to break it and go to Act 4. However, if we had the green key, uh, we would guaranteed have a campfire after the chest, because a campfire is guaranteed after the green key elite, and the, late, the, the earliest a green key elite can show up is on this floor, which would mean that the guaranteed campfire would have to come right after. So, I don't mind losing Juzu Bracelet. And uh, hopefully we get a good, uh, good relic in Act Three. Because honestly, I'm kind of tired of seeing common relics after these past few episodes. I am going to need some more defense in this deck at some point. And that's six. I forgot I had Choker, but that's okay. I don't think we're in any danger. At least from that. You know what? I might end up going this campfire instead. Hmm. Kind of needed roll attack to show up there. Although, maybe... Am I able to kill here? 16. 
56. Seventy-eight. Eighty-nine. So I'd be twenty-two off. But with eight thorns, that's three hits. Plus a work outcome. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, also we have pen nib? Hmm. Maybe I could have done better then. Oh. Joker. Yep. Alright, I guess I'm taking all five. Alright. Could have been worse, I guess. Man, this is going to be difficult to come back from. Do I want Repulsor? We haven't. We fought Hermit in Act 1, but I don't know if I can afford to take it right now. Gotta take Whetstone. Okay. Not Strikes is great. Can I get a heal? No. How about multi-beam? Okay, I'm not dead because I have Orc Alchem, but still, that kind of sucks. Really gonna need some good luck. In the next fight. Okay, I'm not allowed to have multi-beam. Is what I'm finding out. Uh, what I am allowed to have is roll attack, though. That's a lot of damage. Alright, that should handle them, though. I have to take this lead or else I'm dead. Because I have to go to the campfire and heal. Hmm. Maybe it was worth buying the, uh, the heal earlier in the act. Or maybe, it was or maybe it was better to take a more conservative path. The, uh, the Book of Stabbing fight was just um, unlucky. Do I take this Temporal Shield just to get another block card? I think with the Work Alchem it's not going to matter. So let's not brick our deck. Okay. That's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, let's put Defend into Stasis, I guess. Okay. We're doing 15 damage three times, which is enough to kill both of them. And uh, hopefully Gremlin Leader doesn't do the 25% attack. Good. I'm going to clear the hand a bit. 11 times 3, huh? And we don't have roll attack plus in hand. Uh, looks like that's game. Looks like that's just it, because we bricked. Yeah, just unfortunate. I don't... Maybe there was a way to play better there, but... Um... Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Did I lose a bunch of HP before the fire? Should I have rested there instead? I was pretty confident going into these elites, but maybe I had too much setup. And not enough front load. Not enough defensive mode, or whatever. Yeah. A bit disappointing. I was, uh, really looking forward to doing, uh, 10 strength shenanigans, but it just didn't work out. Um. Yeah, we, you really need some defense, or or campfires in Act 2 uh, in order to survive, uh, and we just didn't have either, really. How much HP did I take in these? Took 8 damage there. 
Took 42 damage in Book of Stabbing. Hmm. You know what? I think I played Roll Attack on turn 1 against Book of Stabbing, if I'm not mistaken. No, but, mm, no I played it turn 2. I played it turn 2 against it 3 times attack. I should have saved it for the 5 times attack, I think. Although, I don't... I don't know. I don't think that worked out very well, in general. I probably should have just used the Cultist Potion, but I was greedy, I guess. I, I'm getting the general vibe that there's something wrong with my deck, but I don't understand what exactly. Because in theory, I have the attacks. I've got laser turret, I've got floating orbs, multi-beam, roll attack, polybeam. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just too many strikes in defense. Maybe I just didn't have enough defense in general. Could have taken the uh, resilient plate uh, since I... Uh, since they didn't have very much defense. Uh, the brace would have at least helped. I'll have to remember that for later. But for now, that's going to be it. So, hope you enjoyed the short the, uh, episode that this was, and I uh, hope you stick around for future ones. Uh, we're very, very close to episode 30, uh, in which a big change is coming to the series. Uh, so stick around for that. Uh, but until then, I'll see you later. Goodbye.